Here are six steps to hit the heavy bag like Errol Spence Jr. Make sure to follow the last step. Step one, stance and footwork. To hit the heavy bag like Errol, start with a solid stance. Keep your feet shoulder width apart with your lead foot pointing towards the bag. Keep your back foot at a slight angle for stability and mobility. Maintain a slight bend in your knees, allowing you to move fluidly. Errol's footwork is essential for his smooth movement around the ring and sets the foundation for powerful punches. Step two, hand position. Errol keeps his hands high, protecting his face and maintaining an active guard. His lead hand is quick and responsive, ready to throw jabs and set up combinations. His back hand stays close to his chin, always prepared to deliver devastating power punches. Step three, straight punches. The jab is Errol's bread and butter. Snappy and accurate, he uses it to gauge distance, control the pace, and set up his opponents. Extend your lead hand straight out, quickly retracting it to your guard. Combine it with the straight right, using your back hand to deliver a powerful straight punch. Remember to pivot your back foot and rotate your hips and shoulders to generate maximum force. Step four, the hook. Errol's hook is a devastating weapon. To throw a powerful hook, shift your weight, and generate torque from your hips and core. Keep your elbow at a 90 degree angle and aim for the side of the heavy bag. Practice this punch to add diversity to your combinations and target your opponent's body effectively. Step five, body shots. Errol Spence Jr. is renowned for his body shot precision. Hitting the heavy bag like him involves digging into the bag with hooks and straights aimed at the midsection. This technique can wear down opponents and set up opportunities for headshots. Step six, head movement. Errol's head movement is one of his defensive strengths. Incorporate subtle head movements while hitting the bag to simulate slipping punches. Practice bobbing and weaving to evade imaginary punches, making you a more elusive and agile boxer. Remember, it takes consistent practice and dedication to develop the skills of a professional boxer. Thank you for joining us today, and make sure to follow FTC Boxing for more. Until next time, keep punching like a champion.